Hey guys, welcome back to the new Stroid Android Multipurpose News App Tutorial Part 2. So in the last video, we have uh, successfully imported the new Stroid source code into Android Studio and we also have uh, fully set up the Firebase for our new Stroid. If you have any kind of questions or any kind of doubts or even if you have any kind of errors, which is low chance but still if you have any kind of errors then do let me know in the video comments and also if you have I mean particular kind of errors then I suggest you to forward a mail to support at sabithpkcmnr.com which is the mail ID I have recently started for the support purpose and if you have the if you have purchased the app and you and uh, you have any kind of issue while setting up the things then you can just simply drop a mail to that address and the address will be also in the video description as well so in this video first we are going to check into the intro section of our application and changing the intro to your own icon your own text and everything so to do that what you need to do is that first you have to open your project inside the android studio and now you have to go to this uh, java folder and after that you will find an activity called activity intro just double click and now here what you need to do is that you have to just go top and you can see you can simply change everything to your own my news app so if you guys remember we have added the app name as my news app so I'm just going to add that thing and as you guys can see you can also change this into your own this is the description for the first page and uh, this will be the title for the second page this is a description for the second page this is the uh, title for the third page and description as well and it just continues like that and also at the end you can see when you just uh, I mean just click on this you see this is the first icon that we have been adding in the home page I mean I mean the first page of the intro section and this is the second icon third page icon, fourth page icon and it just goes like that so you can change it and if, even if you want you can also remove couple pages like this and if you just remove make sure that you have also removed from this set background color as well as from the add okay now it is removed and now what you can do is that yeah you can change the skip into something like uh, just take me in or something like that if you want you can also change the finish into something different also you can change yeah please don't don't touch this section because it will cause some issue with the intro so this i mean just don't touch this section so please don't touch this section because it is a uh, important part you know now once you have done that and when once you have customized it according to your taste you can just close that and now the next thing is that changing the app theme so I'm just going to close this and we can open the resource folder and inside that there will be a folder called values and there is two colors so app theme is basically the changing of colors right so we have two different colors one is for the night mode and another one is for the normal daytime mode and I suggest you to don't touch the night mode because it may cause some issues because the night mode I have already taken some time and invested some time in this night mode theme and uh, tried my level best to manage it as possible so you have to keep me you have to make sure that you never touch this thing you can just change the dead theme according to your taste so double click on the colors.xml file and as you guys can see these three things are the color that we use which is the color primary color dark and color ascent so if you want to change the color of let me show you for example I'm just going to the home page okay so as you guys can see this is our home page and at the top we have the action bar which is this thing this this thing and above that we have the status bar which is a little bit dark from the action bar color and if you want to change the status bar then you can just go to here and the primary dark is uh, that represent the status bar so in my case I have the material palette which is a <clears throat> library that I'm using 
for this and not a library actually it is a plugin that I'm using for the Android Studio and if you have that you can just simply get the best color out of it and if you don't have that I have made a separate video on installing this material palette so you can just watch that and the video video link will be in the description below this video so if you want if I want to change the color into something like you see uh, let's go with this thing and I can just scroll this I want to change this color so I'm just selecting that I want to add a dark color of course this will be uh, two times after that so this will be the color let's see that and hopefully as you guys can see now we have changed the blue into a little pink item now if you just go back you have to also make sure that you change the color of this floating action button as per the uh, color sand you just like that and now for this I guess the best matching color would be uh, blue okay so if you just go it is blue now and while changing that you have to make sure that if there are any other sections that you don't that you have to change so this color post primary is when is a activity and a theme for an activity which is our hot news and uh, if you guys don't know that the hot news activity will be only displayed if the user click the new notification from the action bar and if he if he click that then it will open in a uh, an activity which is called as hot news and the hot news represent the latest news and uh, which is actually received from the notification so in that activity I suggest you to have a little bit different color because that will help you or at least your uh, customers or view or app users get entertained so just change that into something different one okay that's perfect and if you wanted to see that you have to go to the activity underscore hot new hot news and just turn the preview on and as you guys can see this is the new theme okay now after that we have uh, you can also just play around this and uh, make changes according to you and you see here a bundle of other colors attributes and these represent the color of our uh, in row screen and if you want to and if you want to change that you can of course change it to according to your taste but uh, you have to be sure that it is in the hexel or this core format I don't even know that okay so just closing that next part is that splash screen of course after the intro there will be a splash screen so we have to also change that so if you just go to activity splash and uh, I guess you don't have to touch this section or any other section because it will cause some issues so the app the splash screen also check for the internet connection and load the separate page according to that so please don't touch any of these sections because it will cause some issue with the application okay so uh, what you can do is that as you guys can see there is no file there is no code called uh, set content view and instead uh, if you just open the application you will notice that the splash screen comes a lot much faster than other applications because I use it as a simple trick to load the splash screen a little bit faster and mostly Android just uh, just lack you know uh, the first hour of an Android application inside an Android device will take a little bit time and of course if you just try to create a new project and run it on your Android device then you will sign you you will have to find that there will be a white screen before the app fully load so that white in that white screen what is happening is that in the background Android device is trying to load that application and once it is loaded you will see the splash screen and the next screen and the upcoming screens and um, we are using the same method that our YouTube Android YouTube application is using and if you just open the YouTube application it just load as instant as with you you just click but if you just open uh, applications like the WhatsApp which take I mean around five seconds as a white screen and then it load the home page that is the chat list so uh, we have we are following the rules from the Android YouTube app I mean the U official YouTube app so in order to change the uh, splash screen and if you want to change the theme or icon or the background color of the background image of the splash screen what you need to do is that you can just go to the uh, layout folder alright layout file not in the layout I mean 
go to the drawable and you have to simply search for splash page you see that there is an XML file just double click on that and of course you will find the BG which is the background color and the uh, icon is the the sports hunt icon so the sports hunt and uh, the new stroid is separate app I mean the sports hunt is just an application that uses the new stroid theme yeah so if you want to change the sports hunt then you will have to just create a file like this let me show you so this icon have some difference it, you have to keep keep in mind that while designing the icon for the splash screen you have to keep this ratio I mean this resolution it is 720 by 11280 and I have made this in the most compressed form which is the WebP form and you can create the WebP, Web, I mean the WebP form really easy and if you see all these icons are following following the WebP form which is highly required and it can compress the uh, uh, image size and also improve the performance so if you have a uh, PNG icon and if you want to change it into a WebP format and what you all what you need to do is that you just right click on that and just go to convert to WebP and you have to make sure that you uncheck this otherwise sometimes it will for low, low size images it will just keep that image and it will not let you just do that so just uncheck it and click on the OK now you have to make sure that you're following the right size and you can see the difference over here I, I suggest you to don't make any changes over here just simply click on the finish and hopefully this now BG is now changed into WebP and as you guys can see we have saved around 167 KBs, KB of size now like that you can change this and uh, next thing is that we also have the splash BG which is also following the WebP format and you can also change it into your taste and add it uh, in the drawable folder I mean replace it with the uh, one icon in the drawable folder so the next thing is that changing the social icon so if you just go to the about page I mean the about page we do have several social icons at the bottom and of course if you have the latest uh, updated source code of the new story then you will have a I mean the let me show you that you will have a Facebook page icon in the uh, here is the Facebook page icon in the navigation drawer so to change the social links all you need to do is pretty much simple you just go to the activity config file open that and you will see you can here you can just turn on the banner ad you have you can turn on the interstitial ad you can also change the uh, username of your Facebook and other social medias and as you can see I have made it in the most easiest form so you can simply change it here you don't have to play with the codes because everything is simply arranged in the activity config and in case if you want to turn on the ads you can simply try true and if you want to turn the interstitial ad simply made it true and that's it it will automatically turn on in the application and if you just turn it off then the layout will be compressed I mean the ad layout will be compressed and there will be no blank spaces for the ad and that's how I, I made this application and if you want you know you can change the you can add your own item in the uh, drawable I mean yeah in the drawer so uh, I have added only one icon if you want to add the Twitter then you can do that you can you have you will have to also follow the activity main uh, I, I mean activity home and add the uh, new item in that and next you can also change the about page if you just go to the about page let me show you where is the about page yeah about page I have added a sample description and if you want to change that what you need to do is that you see this is the I have created a string for that just click on that when I say click so most in time it is it means that you have to click the I mean this mouse there will be a round what the thing is called I don't know but you just click on the scrolling button button or scrolling wheel on the mouse just click on that just keep your mouse over uh, strings like this then click on the scrolling wheel button and if you just click it will bring up the strings.xml file 
and now you can change the about page I mean the about description of your about page and you can also change the icon and icon is as per you you can change the icon and that's it and now that's about your about page and next is that in the next video we'll be digging a lot more deeper into this and uh, you know change a little bit more things and make it a, your own custom design or custom news app and hopefully we have completed this section and i hope everyone got your requested or your doubts or i guess most of the people have cleared your doubts watching this video and if you still have any kind of questions or if you still have any kind of errors in your android app or if you have trouble just importing your project into Android Studio then do let me know in the comment section and if you have any kind of other issues or if your app unfortunately is closing while opening itself then you can just drop a mail to support at subdpkcmnr.com and you can also find that mail in the description below this video I will be serving you the better and I express my thanks to everyone who already purchased the app and uh, hopefully we can meet in the next video thanks for watching peace out